All right, YouTube. Hey, good day. So this is going to be an unusual video for me. Um, <clears throat> but uh, pointing to do a video here by Cyrus down in Las Vegas. Uh, I've been following him for a while. I don't know, probably six or seven years now. Uh, he's a guy out of Vegas uh, who does various things. But as he talks about in the beginning of this video, uh, you can see the title, 15 Minute Cities Happening. He's doing a response to this lady on the screen here in her video. Um and I think it's important because I think a lot of people fall automatically pick one side or the other because they hear a certain term. Uh, and this 15 minute cities idea has automatically been tied to uh, Agenda 2030 and everything else. And that term that anything that's a walkable city is automatically a 15 minute city and everything's been getting jumped together. And these people like this lady are using it to divide people. And that's the most dangerous thing we can allow to happen, right? Um, is for that to happen. But uh, Cyrus does some really good uh, review of it. Uh, the video is a little choppy. It cuts in and out. Like, I don't know if it's YouTube or if it's the way he recorded it. But uh, there's a couple black. It'll go dark for a second and then it'll come back. But uh, other than that, um, listen carefully um, to what this lady's saying in Cyrus's responses. I think it'd be useful, especially if you live in a city and are concerned about these things, like what is really going on? And hat tip to the man cub, the man child you guys know, uh, years ago he was on this and evaluating uh, zoning laws and, and everything about walkable cities. And if you really think about it, like having a car for everything is useful, um, but if you could walk to the store and walk to places, it'd be much better for all of us, right? Now, a government mandate is not what we need. And that's not what a lot, especially Cyrus, he'll talk about that a little bit in here and how this lady contradicts herself as far as freedom goes in several areas. Um, but zoning laws have absolutely failed us. Uh, suburbs, zoning laws, all these government controls that are in place and um, they could be done much better. Don't automatically assume because something's a walkable, somebody's trying to make something walkable or more walkable that it's automatically agenda 2030, 15 minute city agenda. Like we're going to take away all your cars and you're going to be locked down in, a, in this big, you know, uh, high rise like China. Like, yes, that's possible. Government mandates for things like that are never good. But especially if you live in a city, you need to sound off on this stuff because like reducing car traffic, making things more pleasant in your area. I mean, a lot of us don't want to live in the city just because of the traffic. So cars are a problem when they're congested, right? So don't automatically discount an idea just because, uh, you know, you're, you're thinking into one way, like all this modernism is automatically good when, if we, like this lady keeps complaining, we're going to go backwards, we're going to go backwards. No, we're going to make it better so that people can commute uh, not necessarily by car, but by bike or walking, uh, which would be healthier for everybody in a lot of respects, uh, and safety. Um, but the man child, yeah, he's studied a lot about this and beat me up the last couple of years about this. <laughs> and it doesn't, I mean, I wouldn't say it doesn't affect me because there, there's still zoning regulations in our area that could be much better and could benefit everybody better. But, um, there's at some point it's a freedom issue if, if the people of a city want to have places that are safer for foot traffic and bike traffic, it makes sense. There's a lot of Dutch examples, and the Dutch are some good on some things, the bad on others. So a lot of times it's going to be about the execution of it. But especially in suburbs, the way we have them now, if you think about it, like having to drive out of your suburban neighborhood to get to a corner store is a travesty. And zoning laws created a lot of that. People not wanting to live next to a corner store market. Uh, people can't operate businesses out of their houses. So there's an in-between here that people need to really look at, I think, if we want to progress. I'm not saying we're going to progress because I think the totalitarian control grid is after all of us, unfortunately. But don't automatically jump on this lady's side that, oh, these cities are going to be terrible. Like... <sighs> You really got to think uh, about what's going on and what's the ad agenda. Um, and are they really saying and backing it up? And is it really true what they're saying? Because just having more and more cars and more and more roads is not the answer. Uh, we've 
we've reached peak, you know, vehicle traffic long ago in most of these cities. And it's a miserable nightmare. And people are trying to go places like she talks about. What if you want to drive here? What if you want to drive there? Well, if you make a city functional, you know, if you have the zoning set up in a way that people can have those services closer to people can walk to them. Oh, guess what? It works better. You don't have to have cars for every day, everything you use. Granted, you can drive in. There's other uses. And a 15-minute walkable city doesn't mean that cars are banned. Unless they say, hey, they're banned. Then that's a problem, right? Uh, so check it out. Uh, think on this issue. It's come, I mean, it's, we all know it's been here for a while. Um, but really it's about the zoning and how allowing people to have freedom to build business uh, where it's needed, close to people. Your businesses should be next to people, not miles and miles away. Uh, and that just benefits the big corporations because centralized Walmart, centralized Costco benefits from you having to drive there. And they don't have any competition in your local neighborhood with a local market or somebody they have to compete with locally because zoning doesn't allow it. Think on that for a minute. Um, so lots going on with that. Uh, again, kind of abnormal for what we usually talk about, but it is about, it is a freedom issue. And, um, yeah, you don't want to be, have a totalitarian, you're locked in your skyscraper in the big city, but you do also don't want to have to compete with bumper to bumper traffic every day and not have any services close to your home. So there is a balance. Check out Cyrus's video below. He goes to it point by point with her. Uh, this lady's obviously, to my, my mind, fear mongering, and you've probably all seen it, similar videos, and you've a lot of you have already made up your mind on this and heard it, and I'm just asking you to reconsider uh, the consequences and what's really going on. So... Prep hard, live free.